I just wanted to record a video um, referencing the video, the pair of videos that I recorded uh, several weeks ago now. I think it was maybe three weeks ago in which I discussed a brief controversy that very quickly died down where um, Courtney Love, who I know is not the uh, not everyone's idea of uh, a credible source, including mine. Uh, however, she uh, posted something on her Instagram page, one where she was complaining about uh, Dave Grohl and, and not getting enough money <clears throat> with uh, the Nirvana proceeds, which I didn't care much about uh, or didn't interest me very much. But the second thing she said uh, concerned Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails, uh, and she claimed that uh, he and the rest of his bandmates, uh, that, that she had witnessed them with underage girls as young as 12. Um, and, uh, and then the, the, so, so I talked about that. I, 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 uh, I, I brought, I brought that to people's attention or to, you know, the people who watch this channel to their attention, um, and, uh, ex express my thoughts on the subject uh, of this allegation. And then the next day, Courtney Love uh, posted uh, a, an apology where she said uh, uh, that she had been insensitive with the things that she had said in the previous, in her previous post. Insensitive. You know, you're, you, uh, uh, this other, uh, Trent Reznor, I've seen him with in underage girls, uh, as young as 12, uh, him and his bandmates, uh, with underage girls as young as 12. That was insensitive of me. That struck me as a strange uh, apology. That uh, it, it was not, and that it was not a retraction. It was in no way a retraction. Okay. Now, after I posted that video, and, and I think I did one other one about and, you know, and I brought in Marilyn Manson, all, it was all these elderly rock stars uh, that, uh, you know, were formerly hip and cool uh, back in back in the day. Um, and I I just shared the um, my uh, opinion that Courtney Love's apology was not a retraction. OK, and I shared the my my thought that. If Trent Reznor, uh, if I were Trent Reznor, and I had his millions, uh, and I had his his uh, you know army of lawyers at my disposal, um, I would I would say to Courtney Love, your your apology is not good enough. You need to retract what you said about me because it isn't true. Otherwise, I am suing your ass for defamation. But that did not happen. Trent Reznor did not do that. Trent Reznor said nothing. Imagine somebody saying, even if it's, you know, your crazy uh, psycho uh, ex-girlfriend, which Courtney Love apparently was with, with Reznor. Um, <laughs> but imagine if, if her or anybody says about you something like that. Uh, and then the next day says, oh, I apologize. I was insensitive. Does that seem like enough to you? Would that be enough for you? Was that enough for Reznor? If it's not enough for Reznor, why didn't he uh, demand that she retract what she said? All right. These were my only points. Uh, and I think they're quite reasonable. I, th I thought they were quite reasonable at the time. I still think they're quite reasonable now, but I had a lot of people come on uh, and uh, and tell me, well, look, uh, uh, as though I hadn't even mentioned it in my video, they said, uh, well, look, uh, Courtney Love apologized. And anyway, anyway, Courtney Love is not to be trusted. She's not a credible source. She's a psycho. As, as for the latter, I'm with you wholeheartedly. Nevertheless, uh, even, even psychos can tell the truth sometimes. Um, and if this were, uh, you know, if, if it were, if what she said was true, that, that she, she had seen this happen years and years ago and did nothing about it, then she's guilty by being complicit in it. All right. So 
So I wasn't defending Courtney Love in any way or saying or claiming that she was credible. I was just saying, and what I, what I still am saying, that uh, uh, Reznor should have, uh, should have demanded a retraction and, uh, uh, and barring a retraction, absent a retraction, should have uh, sued for defamation if what she were saying was not true. All right. That's what I said then. That's what I still say now. There are, it seems that, that I drew uh, a lot of uh, Reznor supporters. Um, and, uh, and they were all saying the same things. They were echoing the same sentiments, some more vehemently than others. You know, some were, you know, going after me. It's calling me an idiot, uh, basically. And others were say were were uh, were being a little more chill about it, but we're still basically saying, you know, look, number one, she apologized. Number two, she's she's a psycho, uh, and she's cre- she's not credible, and she can't be trusted. All right, but I'd covered all of this, everything that ev- everything that you said, I had already recovered in that earlier vi- already covered in that earlier video, which I'll post uh, here. You can go back and. And watch it, and those who haven't, uh, you know, who, who are coming in, coming in fresh, who hadn't seen that earlier video. Uh, actually, it was two videos. I'll post to both of them below in the in the uh, in the description box. Uh, I still hold to what I said, and I, I mean, I don't. Uh, Reznor's silence on this matter, to me, doesn't doesn't speak well for him. Am I acute? Am I saying that he must be guilty? No, I'm not saying that he's guilty. Uh, I'm not weighing in on his guilt or innocence, but I am saying, if it were me, uh, I would certainly not just sit by quietly while uh, while I was defamed in this way and accused of being a vile uh, sex pervert uh, who uh, you know child molester. Uh, and then the person next day apologized and said that she was insensitive for saying what she said. I said you were, I said you were, were with 12 year olds. <coughs> uh, I called you a, uh, you know, a, a, a child molester. Oh, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. <laughs> what, what in the world? Do you all not realize how little sense that makes? Um, Am I beating a dead horse here? Because this is, seems to be a, a story that's sort of come and gone. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just re-emphasizing uh, what what I was saying earlier because I think it's worth reiterating because it seems like a lot of the people who were my detractors in that earlier video didn't uh, either didn't hear or they were uh, selective or they selectively listened. Um, so again. I'm leaving with that very question. If you were someone in that position, uh, being accused of something like that, wouldn't you, would you, would you just keep silent? Would you just, you know, let it pass? Uh, I certainly wouldn't, especially not if I had millions and millions of dollars and tons and tons of lawyers to, uh, you know, top tier lawyers that, that, that could wreak havoc on anybody, anybody who, uh, who defamed me. So there you go. Uh, if you have a response to this response, I'm interested in hearing it, but if you're just going to repeat what you said before, I heard what you said before, because I already said it in my earlier video, which I, again, I'll, I'll, I'll place in the, uh, description below. Okay. Thanks for watching. My name's Andy Nowicki. Please check out my work at altrightnovelist.com and please check out my latest book, The Insurrectionist, available at terrorhousebooks.com.